So this is YB. She is going to help us um, demonstrate how to do oral dosing on a little bird. Uh, she is not a huge fan of towels, but she's also not a huge fan of oral dosing, so we are going to do both. What I do is I will always put the bird in my non-dominant hand. Step up. Step up. Good girl. So I'll um, put her in my non-dominant hand, and what I do with this bird, and it works with a lot of birds, um, but you will find that every bird has their own way. I'm going to bring her towards my chest and use my dominant hand to gently cover her, and then switch um, to a towel, and we'll show you how that's done. So what I'm going to do, good girl, YB, come, come mama, I know. So I'm just going to cover her just like this, and then what I'm going to do is really gently hold her around the head. I'm not particularly squeezing or anything like that. She's just securely held, and she's not super happy with me, but she's okay. And then what I'm doing with my left hand is I'm taking a towel, and I'm just trading so that this hand is free, and that's my dominant hand, and I'm holding her with my non-dominant hand. What it looks like when you're holding a bird is you want to make sure that their chest is left free and unencumbered. That's because if you press on the on the keel of a bird, which is their chest bone down here, it can affect their ability to breathe and you don't want to run the risk of causing her to have difficulty breathing. What I'm doing around her head, so what you can see is I've got my pointer finger underneath her chin on this side and my thumb underneath her chin on this side, and I'm just kind of lifting up around her head to help her from to help me from having her move her head from side to side. And then I've got these three fingers gently cupping her wing on this side, and my hand and the, the um, pad of my thumb holding her wing on this side. And then I'm using my towel to my benefit and just wrapping around like this and tucking it in place so that my bird is very safely and securely wrapped in this towel. So what I do then is always make sure to preload your syringes so you're not having to get them perfectly in the towel and then reload. And what I'm gonna do is just gently, okay, so she's she is biting this and that's working just fine. And I'm just going really slowly so she has time to swallow. There are some birds who won't put their mouth around the syringe, so, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold it up to her beak and I'm just putting little drops by little drops. And that's the other way you can do it. If you have a larger bird, um, like we'll be demonstrating to you in another video, you don't wanna put the syringe actually in their beak because you do run the risk of them biting the tip of the syringe off. In YB's case, that's all. She's gotten her full oral dose. There we go, good girl, and there we go. She's happy as a clam.